Shays' Rebellion is a fascinating event in American and Western Massachusetts history and did a great deal to make us the nation we are today. It's something we should all know more about. Connecting Point correspondent Carolee McGrath spoke with representatives of the National Park Service from the Springfield Armory to bring us that information. After the Ameri American Revolution, a number of those who fought, the veterans, and those who lived in the area that did not have a lot of money, were becoming taxed at such a high rate that they were losing their farms, they were losing their livelihoods. And they were being taxed discriminate against uh, in a discriminatory way. The people who had funds and wealth were not. And so they fought legally through the courts for several years, and they weren't getting anywhere with the changing the status, and they were very distraught. And a large group, of, I think it was over a 1,000 militiamen, <clears throat> came in 1787 to try to take the, the arms from what was the Springfield Arsenal at the time. And Spring Springfield Armory began in 1794, but it's a similar site. Mm -hmm. to, if you go today to where Stick is, you can actually see a monument and you can see an area where this all occurred. Well, ironically, after the rebellion, the federal government, who was, whose hands were tied, and they didn't have enough power to intervene in the state's matters, decided that we would have the U.S. Constitution clearly state that we would never allow something of this caliber to happen again. And so, ironically, you have the American, uh, the U.S. Constitution we think of as rights, Right. And that you that you have in this country, but in this case, the U.S. Constitution is instead banning certain kinds of activities of of uh, expression in this country. And it was led by Daniel Shays, who was also a veteran of he the Revolutionary War, uh, and from Brookfield or settled in the Brookfield yes. um, area as well. So I think a lot of people um, in this area who grew up in this area, I might be talking about myself, take for granted the incredible rich history that we have, especially the Springfield Armory. You know, just driving right, right up State Street and you keep driving and you don't realize uh, what a treasure is there. Tell us a little bit about the history. Uh, not at all. Um, so George Washington authorized our site in 1794, making it the first federal armory in the United States. That, that's pretty important. So before that time, we were importing a lot of our firearms. But after the Revolutionary War, George Washington thought, well, that's probably not a good idea, mm -hmm. so let's have our own manufacturing here. So he chose our site, and also Harper's Ferry was a sister site of ours. So from uh, soldiers from the War of 1812 all the way to Vietnam carried our firearms in battle. I think that's pretty impressive. So Susan, tell us the uh, role that the Armory played during World War II. So employment soared during that time. We uh, employed just under 14,000 people in the spring of 1943. It's a lot of people. It is, of yes, absolutely. And then 42% of those were women, which we would call WOWs, and those are women ordinance workers. And we manufactured, they helped manufacture it, about three and a half million M1 Garands. And then we also, uh, private contractors worked on those as well, uh, bringing the total up to about six million. You have some other um, exciting events coming up though as well, we tell do. us. Oh, we're very excited. And this particular Saturday, at 2 o'clock, we have John Crowley returning to the area. He was on your show recently, December 7th, uh, commemorating the bombing of Pearl Harbor. It's the 75th year. And he's going to be coming to read passages from his book called The Four Freedoms. And he will also, he was also the author and the writer of a film called Surprise and Remembrance. Surprise and, Remembrance. and so we'll start with him and he's going to be doing the readings and then we will go right into the film and we'll show it at the Springfield Armory uh, this Saturday. Okay. Susan and Joanne, thank you so much for coming in thank and um, talking about the history uh, that we have right here in, in this area and encouraging us uh, to go check it out. Thank you so much for coming today. Thanks for having us. Thank you.